Today, I'd like to introduce you to the idea of energy conservation. Very important idea, and we're just gonna scratch the surface today. So as a statement of principle, energy conservation says if we have a closed system, the total amount of energy will remain constant. We can transfer the energy from one object into another, or it could change from one form of energy into another, but the total amount of energy will remain constant. Energy is conserved. So let's look at some examples. The first one, I have a little uh, chemical cart, and I would like to transfer energy from my muscles into the cart. I'm going to do so with an applied force. This is what we call work. So the energy gets transferred from me into the cart, and the cart now takes away some of the energy that I used to possess. Here's another example, the exact same one. You use a force applied to create work that transfers energy from one object into another. So this time the force will be from the fire extinguisher. And just like we had before, the work done by that force is going to give this guy some kinetic energy. All right, so energy has been transferred from one object to another by way of a force. So now we're gonna take our little guy and we're going to give him some energy and then we wanna watch him. And what's gonna happen this time is he's gonna lose his energy. This seems like a violation of energy conservation. But when you think more clearly, you'll see that the energy that was possessed by the little marching band bear and his car is gonna turn into heat energy by way of friction. So watch it as it progresses. He starts with kinetic energy, which I give him from my muscles, and that kinetic energy gets taken away and turned into heat by way of friction. So here's a great example of a very important transformation, kinetic energy into heat. So it's force friction, takes away kinetic energy, and creates heat. This happens anytime you have a car driving down the road, steps on the brakes, the kinetic energy goes away, you think you've lost energy, but in fact you've created higher temperatures, either on the brake pads, on the roadway, or both. Okay, so we've turned kinetic energy in the heat using friction. Here's an example. Mia is gonna turn the potential energy of the apple into kinetic energy by allowing the gravitational field to accelerate it. Okay, so this is using the force of gravity to turn potential energy into kinetic energy. We can do vice versa, that is I could throw the object up and that kinetic energy will turn into gravitational energy. Okay, so another transformation of energy from one type to another. Starts with potential, slowly loses the potential, turning it into kinetic. When it hits the ground, as you heard, it will turn into sound energy, possibly heat energy, probably both. Here's another example. We're going to take my little spring car. We're going to compress the spring and make elastic energy. And then when I let go, that elastic energy will turn into kinetic energy. All right, so let's try it out. We add energy by way of work. It turns into elastic energy stored in the spring. We release it, and that elastic energy turns into kinetic. Okay, so force elastic can turn elastic energy into kinetic energy. We start by doing work. We compress the spring. We now have potential energy elastic. 
We then release the object and it turns into kinetic. Graphically, I think this is really helpful. So make sure you have a nice sketch of this. We're gonna start with the ball, we're gonna throw it up, and we're gonna start watching it as soon as it leaves my hand. It's gonna be moving upward at a speed of 5.45 meters per second. So when I first started out, you can see from the graph, energy versus time. It started with all kinetic energy at the very beginning, seven, um, joules of kinetic energy, zero joules of gravitational energy. As it went up, you could see the kinetic energy going down, you could see the gravitational energy going up, and most importantly, in blue, the total energy stays constant. We'll continue having it go up. You can see the potential continues to rise, the kinetic continues to fall, and when we hit the highest point, the object temporarily stops. All the kinetic energy is gone. It's now all gravitational energy, and you can see the total has remained the same. All the kinetic has turned into potential. Gravity is then gonna turn the situation around, and it's gonna start turning that potential energy back into kinetic energy. So you can see gravity going down and kinetic going up. We then continue it all the way down to the ground. And we get back to the same kinetic energy we started with. We get back to a potential energy of zero. And you'll notice the total energy has not changed. Once we hit the ground, we may create some heat and some sound and we may see this total energy drop down to a new value because some of that total energy turns into heat and sound, which is harder for us to measure. Realize we haven't lost energy, it's just it turned into a form that's harder for us to track. All right, so here it is in one swoop. Starts with kinetic loses kinetic, gains potential. At the very top, we're gonna to have all potential, and then it starts turning back into kinetic. The total energy stays the same. Make sure you have this graph, show a few key points along the way. Okay, so you wanna show the beginning, on the way up, at the highest point, on the way back down, and when it got back down again, make sure you understand what's happening at all of those moments. Okay, here's another one I'd like you to see. We're gonna take our little grasshopper, we're gonna compress him, and we're gonna have potential energy elastic. That's this picture. Then it's gonna have the suction cup release. It's gonna turn into kinetic. It's gonna be a mix of kinetic and potential and then it's gonna be all potential. And then it will come back down and repeat itself. So if you watch, here's the video. We start with potential, turns into kinetic, turns into gravity, turns back into kinetic. The whole process shows a transformation of energy without a loss of total energy until we create things like sound and heat. And then we still don't lose energy. It just turns into a form that's harder to see. With the roller coaster, you can see at the top, it's potential energy gravity, turns into kinetic. And here, it's gonna have a mixture of potential and kinetic. Here it's above the ground. Here it's moving at top speed. Here it's moving and it's above the ground. So you wanna make sure you're able to identify what types of energy are present and what are they turning into and what did they used to be. The key idea is the total energy equals the total energy equals the total energy. We'll show how we can use this mathematically in our next lesson.